Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert, one of the pastors here, and it's always great to have you tuning in. And I hope that these word for the days encourage you, help you connect with Christ, and and ultimately grow closer to Him as your Savior, uh, living your life focused on Him. You know, the interesting thing about uh, teaching God's Word is there's, there's repetition in it. There are sections that, that have truths that repeat and keep coming back up. And part of that is if you have ever been a parent, you understand the need to repeat things for your children to learn it. God is our Heavenly Father. He knows the need to repeat these things. But here's where attention lies. Oftentimes, those of us who have followed Jesus for a little bit want to go, yeah, yeah, I've heard that tell me something new. When in reality, we need to pause and say, I've heard that. If I'm hearing it again, maybe there's something I missed the first time. Maybe there's something that I didn't quite grasp or I'm not living in full obedience to, and that's why I need to hear it again. Or maybe I just need a a reminder of some wonderful truths or some good conviction. And that's the wonderful thing about God's Word, that the more we read it, the more we learn, the more we grow closer to God and the richer it becomes. You know, I often chuckle when people say, yeah, I read the Bible once, uh, and and as if it's a check mark to just go, hey, I've read the Bible, check, now I'm going to move on. And it it really is a a living document that, that continues to teach us and show greater richness. And I share all this because Jesus is talking with the disciples, not necessarily uh, quoting Old Testament scripture or anything, but he's going through a section of parables. He's just shared seven or eight parables in the book of Matthew here. And he pauses, and I want you to hear uh, what he says in verse 51 of Matthew 13, if you want to follow along. He says this, he says, have you understood all these things? And they said to him, yes, which is a side note. Someone, if not most of them in that group, lied. There, he said all of these things. They're like, yes, we understand all of those. False. But we'll move on from that. <laughs> Verse 52. He said, therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of the house who brings out of his treasure what is old and what is new. See, Jesus says, hey, you guys want new teaching. You want new information. You want new parables. And we love new teaching. But he also says, hey, we're bringing out the new treasure and the old treasure. And my question to you is, are you treasuring the new teaching that you're hearing about God's word as well as the old teaching? Are you treasuring the new information uh, as well as you're treasuring the old information that you've heard over and over and over again? Because God's word never gets outdated, never gets dull, never lacks for purpose in our life. Even if we've heard a passage 50 times in the last year, it never lacks for purpose in our life. But often our, our minds are trained on saying, hey, we need new. We need new headlines. We need new, uh, a new case for our phone. We need a new car. We need a new restaurant to go to. We need a new movie or to watch or a new Netflix series to binge. And God's saying, hey, the new is great. But are you treasuring the old teachings as well? Are you thinking back on that basic John 3.16? And reflecting on that with such a, of the greatest news that that is the, the hundredth time you've heard it as well as the very first time you've heard it. Because I know that God's word does not return void when it is delivered to us. And so we need to be receiving all teaching, whether it's a new passage from a new angle, a new perspective that's really thought-provoking or something that we feel like we've heard over and over and over again. Are we saying, hey, God, show me something new. Allow me to treasure this moment of sitting in your teaching, even if it's a familiar passage. So I challenge you, whether it's tomorrow's word for the day or whether it's a sermon that you're about to sit in or a podcast that you're going to listen to or your devotion uh, later today or tomorrow as you read it, if it feels familiar and you feel the temptation to check out, pause and say, God, what do you want me to hear this time from your word? And I bet that it's going to become a new treasure to you if you do that. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.